If you like this video, make sure to visit our Vimeo page and follow us to get the latest update. So, uh, yesterday we discussed about the nodes which has to be implemented in SAP ECC, that is called as a source system. So, what are all the nodes has to be implemented in SAP ECC? So, just to recap everything, okay, so initial load, okay, so when you go for SC80, when you go for SC80, definitely we need to look out for the table which is going to be called as, okay, there is going to be called as a package. We have to look out for the package fin underscore C fin underscore integration. Fin underscore C fin underscore integration. Please, I told that yesterday also, you had to remember this package. And before you remember this package, before you remember the package, okay, I also we discussed about, we discussed about SC30, okay, if we go for SC38, okay, there is a program, there is a default program after implementing the node, okay, there is a default program, this program has to be installed, okay, this program has to be installed, okay, very, very important actually, so this program is going to give the three-way steps, okay, this is going to be for the uploading, okay, this is for the node which has to be get implemented in the source system for the initial upload. So once you've done this with this program, then you have to go and you have to look out for the package that is fin underscore C fin underscore integration. So what is the purpose of this? So what is the purpose of this particular program? Okay, this particular package, we can we are going to be calling it as a package. Actually, it is not a program. Once you implement that node, so we'll see this package over here. So what is the importance of this particular package? This package is very, very important for the initial upload. Initial upload. Initial upload is nothing but, okay, so there are two things are there. One is, before you start actual replication of the transactions from the source system to the target system, so we have to load the data. We have to load the data into the target system as on date. So one is loading the data. Second one is another replication. So there is another load, there is another initial load that, that is nothing but replicating the financial transactions from the source system to the target system. So if you want to do the replication of the data, if I want to do the initial load of the data from the source system to the target system, definitely I should need this particular package. The package name is fin underscore C fin underscore integration. So this is something like we are going to do the mapping of the fields between the source system and the target system. So this package of this package is going to contain about the various okay objects and in that objects we can see various database tables are going to be done. And apart from that, we are going to see what are all the programs which are which are defaultly defined with the help of this particular package. What happens if I don't have this kind of package? Then there is no initial load between the source system and the target system very 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 important this is the point number one so what is actually we call as the initial load see when you go for a central finance when i go for a central finance the first part of initial load the first part of initial load that is nothing but this step load the existing data only into the source system okay Please make a note all of this. Okay, all of you, please make a note of these two points. Okay, then we'll go into the actuals. Today, the class is going to be very, very important. That is going to be called as initial load because we are going to be discussing about the initial load. Hey, hey, uh, Mahesh. So, uh, you're, you're not feeling good today, right? Ah, throat infection and fever. So you need to take it a little bit easy, okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And Just for five to ten minutes, I'll take the class, okay? So, not to mm -hmm. do that. So yeah, then, yeah. then we go for some assignments, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah thank you. So today's topic is going to be called less initial load. What is it? Okay. So initial load is nothing but you take a note. Can okay, you go on you please? Yeah, can you mute your call? Yeah. Initial load is nothing but there are two processes are there in the initial load. One is the first step of the load where existing data means existing data is nothing but when you are going to have the source system and the target system. Okay, right. Okay, very, very important. This is my source system and this is my target system. Source system, you are going to be taking it as SAP ECC. Source system is going to be called as SAP ECC. And the target system is nothing but your SAP S4 on a system. 
Okay, target system is nothing but your SCP S4 HANA system. So before you do the replicating of the data, before you start live of replicating the data from the system A to B, that is from the source system to the target system, the first one, point number one, very, very important. This is very, very important at the time of interview, actually. So normally people, what they will think, initial load is nothing but it is just like, okay, before you go for a go live, we are going to, whatever the existing data is there in the SAP, we are going to load all the data to SAP S4 HANA. Yes, you are right. The point number one is correct. But there is another, there is a second point is also there, which talks about the initial load. The first point is nothing but, so what is happening? The first point, existing data, very, very important existing data only that is nothing but we are going to do the we are we are, we are going to load the existing data get okay otherwise i let okay loading i'll write here load existing data only in the source system So you are the source system. Okay. Okay. So I'll explain the point number one. So existing data only on the source system. So when I take the source system, this is my source system. My SAP ECC is nothing but my source system over here. So for this source system, actually, what you have to do here is go to the transaction. Okay, go to the transaction, which is going to be called as SF30. Please make an note, all of you. Go to the transaction, SM30. So what is this SM30 maintaining of the table? So yesterday, I, if you remember yesterday, there is the one table we have discussed yesterday. Okay, if you go to the SE11, if you go to SE11, there is the one table we discussed about that is going to be called as a CFIN underscore source underscore set. Please, very, very important. CFIN underscore source underscore set. So this table contains the settings in the source system actually. Settings in settings for the central finance in the source system. That is nothing but so company code. Okay, keep the period when the running deletion report. Okay. So physical start year for the initial load of the balances. What balances you are going to be loading for the initial load? Period for the initial load document. Start year for the initial load document. These all are the go fields which you are going to be updating. So just copy this particular, copy this program, just copy this table and go to SC30 and give the same table here. Give the same table over here. One second, this system is getting hanged up. One second. Okay, okay. Okay, give the same table and here there is a point which we are going to be calling it as a maintain. Okay, let's click on maintain here. So the maintaining the, the maintaining dialog for the C field source is incomplete or not defined. Means what it is calling the maintenance dialog for the C field underscore source underscore is incomplete or not defined. The called function with the value table that is view value table source needs a special maintenance. Okay, so what we have to do here is so let me keep a B. Let me see it is a view table. Huh? So it is asking me to maintain with a B. Okay, one second. So I'll write a V C pin underscore source underscore search. V C pin underscore source underscore. If I select yes. Now, so what is the problem here? Okay, the first one. When I'm directly maintaining only with this particular table, without V, without the prefix of V, then the system is telling it is a view table actually. It's a view table. All the view tables has to be maintained with V actually. So what I have done here, yes, it is a view table. So I'm maintaining with a V. So if I go back, if I go back to the same table, so here, this is what exactly the view table here. Okay, this is the view table. So if I go and click on the display, I can see all the fields which are going to be updated in this particular table. So please make a note that V underscore C field underscore source underscore set is the table. So I'm using the same table and click on maintain. Click on maintain. So this is the screen actually. So for the initial load of the data. So 
company code start of the balances start of the document period for the document periods gl reconciliation initial load and the package size these are the fields which are updated in this particular so initial load is nothing but we are loading the data load the existing data to the source system and uh, the second point is nothing but whenever you are replicating any financial transaction so this will helps to replicate your data from the source system to the target system if the initial load is not maintained if the initial load data is not maintained if the particular table is not maintained with the data then you cannot replicate the financial transaction not only the financial transaction even the controlling transactions cannot be replicated from the system a to system b so the point number 2 is nothing but replicates all the newly created data replicates so, all so, the newly created data yes sir so 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 mahesh basically what you're saying in the source system there is a table yeah in which you have to load the data which is this table we see pen whatever the new table is you got to load the data that you want to replicate in c4 in in In, in central finance correct exactly you are absolutely right so now now there is one important thing actually so what type of data is going to be replicated if i am going to use this particular table so we need to say that all the data is going to be replicated or there are any kind of restrictions are there if there are any point if there are any kind of data which is not going to be replicated in the source system here yes so there are things are there so like just like okay so all the not data okay so all the data cannot be replicated so there are something which we have to discuss most important thing is nothing but so postings cannot be transferred actually what is the first one when you go for the replication postings of the co to fi that is nothing but controlling to fi so whenever you are posting any data in the source system whenever you are posting any data from the controlling to the fi through the reconciliation account because reconciliation earlier we have the reconciliation between the controlling and the fi so whenever you are posting any financial documents to the controlling to the fi so through the reconciliation i am able to see the data in the fi so what happens here the point number 1 posting to the co to fi reconciliation ledger will not be updated so whenever you do any kind of postings with the help of this reconciliation process cotfi those postings cannot be replicated very very important so there are some transactions are there which cannot be replicated which cannot be replicated from the source system to the target system very 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 important okay so i am going to give the list of all the transactions what are all the transactions cannot be replicated what are all the transactions postings cannot be transferred as a part of this initial load and uh, ongoing uh, replication we can call it as a ongoing replication so i'll give the list there are four there are nearly i think seven to eight points are there so those particular postings cannot be replicated as a part of this initial load yeah because because mahesh there is no reconciliation ledger <coughs> And, the, and 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 you know one thing there's only one document which is called aka doka table that links fi to co exactly exactly so now what have what is happening in sap s4 hana there is no reconciliation actually earlier we have the reconciliation process between the co to fi now in sap s4 hana we don't have this reconciliation so the postings to the co to fi whatever the postings you are making to the co to fi these reconciliation ledger gl reconciliation postings cannot be happened and this point number 2 what's up so can you mute your call please oh yeah sure yeah and the point number 2 actually so whenever you are doing any clearings whenever you are doing any part of clearings actually so these clearings are also not transferred as a part of initial load so first one is the co to fi reconciliations and the second one is clearings clearings are not a trans not a part of this transfer of this initial load and uh, but you can transfer but you can activate this transfers of clearing okay why ongoing replication for the more information okay so i can also do that but earlier there is no point of central payments actually central payments is not a part of sap s4 hana central finance so whatever the payments you are whatever the payments you are making in the source system that has to be get replicated and it has to be cleared in the target system but now there is a point which is going to be called as the central, central payment 
So central payment has been initiated from 1809. So from the since 1809, the central payment portion has been initiated. So now whatever the clearings you are making in the source system, so that central payments are going to be clearing the open item documents in the source system. Now we have, so earlier we don't have this option. Now we have this option as a central payment. So there is a topic which we are going to discuss on the central payment also. And the, some recurring entries are there. So normally we will do some recurring transactions. These recurring transactions are not a part of this replication of initial load. And uh, I still remember some points are there like really sample documents. Okay, so we'll create some sample documents. The sample documents are also not going to be part of it. Uh, so, uh, Mike, let me just rephrase this. Yeah. You said that 18, 1809, the, 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 the payments, central payments. Central payments will be cleared in central finance, correct? Exactly. exactly. Okay, so this table is very, very important. So before you do any kind of initial load, first of all, you need to fill up this table. And once you've done the fill up of this table, the first part of your assignment of the source system has been completed. The first part of your assignment. So you can also come through this table. You can also come through this table to maintain this initial load. I'll discuss what type of data you have to maintain everything we are going to discuss. So you can also come with this help of the table or there is the one transaction code called as CFIN. Very, very important. CFIN IMG. CFIN IMG. Please, please make a note of this particular transaction. CFIN IMG. If you come to this particular transaction, so there is only one option which has been given under the transaction. This, this transaction also take you to the particular table of B underscore. Okay, CFIN underscore set underscore source. So the same table is going to look. So the transaction for is CFIN underscore IMG. CFIN underscore IMG. So here there are four different four fields are there here. One is the company code. So which company code you are using for the replicating of the data from the source system to the target system. The point number one. And the second one is start of the balances. So when you are going to start, so is it going to be the start of which year? So if I take the company code, I'm taking the company code as a 1710, for example. So if you have multiple company codes, then you have to give the multiple company codes. So normally in any project, you, you are dealing with four to five company codes or maybe 30 company codes or 40 company codes. So all the 40, 30 company codes replications between the source system to the target system. All the company codes should be maintained in this particular table. So I'm just referencing, I'm just referring with one company code that is 1710 is the company code. So now what is the start of the balance? So from which year you want to start replicating the data? Okay, so 2019, 2019. This is going to be calling it as a transfers only. Actually, we can call it as a transfer balances. So what is the transfer balances? Transfer balances is nothing but, so this is the fiscal year. We are going to be talking, this is the fiscal year from which you want to, from which you want the system to start the transfer of the balances. So normally we'll give the current year only. Normally we will give the current year to transfer the balances actually. So the first point. Okay, so is it clear? The point number one, start the balances. I have given it as a 2019. Why I'm giving it as a 2019? Why the purpose of giving the 2019? Because this is the year for which you want to transfer or which you want the system to transfer the, start the transferring of the balances. Okay, point number two. Okay, point number two, what is this? Okay, start the document. We can, we are going to be calling it as a transfer the documents only. What is the purpose of the field number two? Okay, the start balances fiscal year is very, very good. So from this is the year where we are going to be starting the actual, the system to start the transfer the balances. So what is the field number two? The field number two is nothing but transfer documents only. This is what exactly we call it as a transfers documents only. We all know that what is the document? Document is nothing but a financial entry. Documents are nothing but the financial entry. We see various type of financial documents, vendor, customer, assets, GL, controlling, material ledgers. We see different types of financial documents which are getting posted actually. So in this particular field, okay, you had to fill the year. Actually, you had to fill the year from which you want the system to start the transfer the line items actually. 
line items are nothing but if you take a document there is a debit line item and the credit line item there will be a debit line item and the credit line item so you have to fill the year from which you want to transfer which you want to transfer the system to transfer the line items in to the particular period actually so what is the period here period is nothing but we have 12 periods are there from the jan to december if i'm taking a financial year as a 2019 if my calendar year is going to be jan to december the january will become the first period and the december will become the final period so there will be 12 periods will be there now from which period you want to do the actual transfer of the balances very very important so yes, mahesh the yes, fiscal year fiscal year variant on ECC has to be the same on same. central plans. Exactly, sir. If you are taking the fiscal year variant as a K4, that yeah. is Jan to December, in the central finance also for the same company yeah. code, you should assign the same fiscal year variant which is going to be called as a K4, which is the Jan to December. Yeah. Clear? Absolutely clear. Okay, now here we need to fill the first period actually. From which period you want to transfer? We have given the fiscal year. I have given the fiscal year. From which period on bonds you want to transfer? So let us assume that September, from the September. So I'm giving the, the period as so, so September period is nothing but where I'm going to start doing the actual initial load of the data. And what is the next one? Which is going to be called as a period. Okay, which is going to be called as a period document. What do you mean by a period documents only? Okay, so one is going to be called as a transfer balances, another one is going to be called as a period. Okay, period is going to be the again, we are going to be taking the nine. So totally there will be 12 periods will be there. So if I give if I see here, I have given all these transactions. So if I if I take my company code, I have given the from 2019, the documents has to be transferred from the 2019 from the period which is going to be called as a nine. I'm going to be starting from the nine. So normally nine to nine or nine to twelve, you can take it as nine to twelve. That is from the uh, from the September to till the month of December. So this is where exactly I am going to be providing. So once you complete the initial load, then yeah. I need to... Yes, sir. I, I will not get an, an error because say, I am... I started transferring from, say, from August or say from July to sep, uh, September, but 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 uh, I'm not in October, November now, and there are no transactions. So it will not going to... It's not going to die. If there's no error or if the transaction if the, because there are no transactions in the future month because okay you see what i'm saying what, what i'm saying is what i'm saying i'm transferring from say august mm -hmm. to september but i'm not in october but i'm okay. saying transfer it from 8 to 12. no no there's nothing so out there yeah what so what do you know? No, your question is not clear to me actually. I think you know, what uh, Ajahn is saying is that, for example, he want to skip a month. Okay. Oh, okay. A month. He does not want to transfer a month. Maybe it can be any month in a year. Yeah, any that month in a year. Yeah, that's what I'm telling. Any month in a year. And he can skip skip any month also. He can skip any month also. But definitely, definitely. So here I given the example. Here I given the example as a September, but if you want to do the transfer of the balances from the April, you can give it as a four over there. Yeah, but but I'll say transfer from four to twelve. But I'm in, in period nine right now. I have no transaction on ECC side for October, November. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter. It doesn't no matter. You're, you're yeah. right, absolutely right. Now I'll tell you one thing, sir. Now why? No, I'll clarify your doubt, sir. So when you take the, okay, can you mute your call, sir? I'll explain you one more time. Yeah. Now, what is the start balances? So it is very, very easy that, okay. So we need to understand from the start. So company code in here, we are going to discuss. So we already, we know what is the company code and the number of company codes has to be encoded. So what is the start balances? The start balance is nothing but, so you're going to fill this particular field as a 2019. So why you're filling it as a 2019? Why I'm not going for a 2018? Because 2018 already the fiscal year has been completed in already in the source system. Now we are into the year of 2019. So let me take 2019. It is a month of now. It is the month of September. 
So before the September, so we need to provide the year where actual initial balance load has to be done. So this is a year I'm going to be keeping as a start balance. The start balance is nothing but I'm keep I'm taking it as a 2019. So here from this year actually, so this year from which you want the system to start the transferring the balances, transferring the balances from which year from 2019. Now the next one is start documents. Documents are nothing but you're posting lot many documents in the source system actually. So what is the document? Document contains the line items, debit line item and the credit line item. So in this particular field, okay, you need to enter or you need to fill the year from which you want to start the transferring the documents actually. So which year? That is not a period actually. So which year you want to transfer in the balance? This is what trans start the balances and this is the start the document. There is a lot of differences there between the start the balances and the start the documents very, very important. So this year I'm talking only to the particular documents from which year you want to start doing the transferring of the documents. So, so, so Mahesh, yeah. for a second, I'm now in, uh, in say September. Okay. Okay. I, I, I will transfer my line item from September onwards, but I'm giving this 2019. Okay. Uh, start balances. So okay. those, those things will be dollar balances. They're not going to be debit and credit because there are no line items. Not exactly, line items. exactly. So I'm taking the complete GL balances. See, for example, yeah. if I go, if I go for a 2019 till, till the month of September, so what is the total balance in the GL account? It is something like $1 million. So I'm considering yeah. only the balances, not the line items here. But will it load for January, February, March, April, May to August? Or that the, is what exactly. Now here, I need to provide the period. Which period to which period? Yeah? Yeah, January. Yeah, so I'll tell, I'll, I'll discuss it. I'll discuss about all the things, okay? Now, now, we know about the start document. Most of the people, they are getting confused over in these two fields actually. What is the start document and what is this period document actually? Start document is the year where we need to fill this particular field from which year you want to start the documents. Start mm. period. This is the second. This is the period. This is not the year we are going to be talking. This is the period actual period of the document. Okay. Mm. So provide the first period of the particular year. So I'm providing the first period as a January. See, sir. Now your doubt is clear. Yeah, and, and the reason you're doing that because yeah. if you have got the balances and as you're transferring the detail items, debits and credits from January, they have to, I mean, the balances have to match on a summary basis. Detail must equal to the balances, correct? Exactly, you're right. That's what exactly I want to tell the logically. Okay. Okay, now. This periods, okay, you know that, okay, so the periods which are going to be from, what is this reconciliation account? Why we are selecting the GL reconciliation? GL reconciliation checkbox has to be selected actually. So whenever you are doing any reconciliation posting transfers, okay? And once you complete the initial load, once you complete all the initial load, we need to come and select the checkbox. So what happens if you're going to select the checkbox? The initial load has been successfully completed. Yeah, but but you just said that we don't need to the reconciliation from CO to F I will not be passed on. When, so why do I? No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when when you are doing the current year replication. So I told that there are two there are two initial loads are there. One initial load is nothing but you are doing the transferring of initial load of all the balances. First one. So we have yeah. talked about the two initial loads. The first part is nothing but existing data. Whenever there is any, any existing data in the source system, you are doing the initial load. Second point is nothing but, so you are doing the online replication of the data from the source system to the target system. Whenever you are doing this online replication, so whenever you are doing any reconciliation posting in the source system, so those particular documents of the reconciliation accounts will not be replicated. That's what I'm telling. And, and one thing, because automatically, if you're loading the balance, you run the month end correctly, uh, I mean, the reconciliation account should have zero balances in there. In okay. the source system. Okay. So can you come again? 
What I'm saying is that if you take a January February balances, okay? Okay, okay. Year, okay. In, in in those months, because you run the month and close, January, February, March, you your reconciliation account should have no dollars. They should be flushed out at the month end for that month. End, correct. month. Yes, correct, correct, correct. You're right, yes. Now what happened? See, already you have the reconciliation. So now what is happening here? Now, whenever I see, now whenever I see my source system, sorry, whenever I see my target system, now we are discussing about there is no reconciliation. Why? Because now all the reconciliations have been completely eliminated in our SAP S4 on a system. So why you are selecting this real reconciliation? The real reconciliation, I'm selecting this checkbox before you do start actual replicating of the data from the source system to the target system. So whenever you want to transfer all the balances, start transferring of all the balances so before the replication so all these reconciliation balances has to be get uploaded in my target system actually so for that i'm selecting this particular checkbox so for online replication it is not going to work i'm very confused why should i worry about loading the reconciliation balances in the target system so why one thing sir, if you're not going to load the balances from the january to till the date then how you are going to do the month and closing activity in the target system then? I already done. So I had, you're saying to me that we will have to do the closing for January, February, March in the target system. No, sir. Tell me one thing, sir. So forget mm -hmm. about this point. Okay. Whenever you're doing the greenfield implementation, whenever you're doing any greenfield implementation before you go live, before you go live. So do you going to do the cutover activity and doing the transfer of the balances to the target system or not? Yes, I have to. Why should I? Why should? Why should you have to do that? Correctly, what? Oh, I'm confused about this. Okay, a little bit. That's why I'm asking these questions. So now that is the reason actually. So before you start doing the replicating the data, before you start doing the replicating of the financial data from the source system to the target system. First of all, we need to have all the balances in the target system. If I don't have the balances in the target system, then what is the point here? I'm going to do the online replication because the system will only take this current date and the current month and the current date into the consideration. I don't have the full fledge of the balances in my target system. So I cannot do any kind of month and closing activities in my target system if I don't have the balances. So to transfer before that, you're going to put up all the balances in the target system. So once you have all the balances in the target system, then I'm going to do the actual FIC or replication from the source system to the target system. So once I do that, now the system is in a sync with the source system and the target system. Now, whatever the balances I see in the source system, the same balances now I have in my target system. So here it is a $1 million and here it is a $1 million. Now both the balances are getting matched. So after the balances are getting matched, then I will do the actual replication of my financial transaction from the source system to the target system. Now from today onwards, I'm posting the data. So whatever the transactions I'm posting in the ECC, now the financial transactions are getting posted in my SAP FIC, that is SAP S4 HANA target system. Now I can see both the balances are in sync with the source system and the target system. Now I can use my SAP S4 HANA system as the reporting system now. Clear now? Uh, you know, Mahesh, uh, a quick question. Yeah. Uh, the reconciliation means here that we are just posting the reconciliation balances. We are not doing the reconciliation. We are just no, posting no, no. the reconciliation balances. The reconciliation balances, you are absolutely right here. Okay. So we are posting. So what the reconciliation mm -hmm. balances? So I'm creating a one migration account. Just like I'm going to be creating a migration account and this all the reconciliation balances will go and hit to that particular migration account. So if you see in the month end, the balances in the migration account should be zero. I see. I see. See, normally, sir, I'll tell you one example, sir. Live example. Okay. I'll tell you one live example. Okay. Now forget, forget about all these things. Okay? Forget about all these things. Okay. I'm very confused now. Yeah, see here. Okay, now see here. Now, uh, I'll take one example, okay, salaries. Salaries account, okay. I have the rent account. And I have the admin accounts. 
okay i have the salary account i have the rent account and i have the ag account now now whenever i want to do the balance upload in my source system to the target system actually so what i will do here i'll create a one migration account actually so i'll create a one uh, what do you say a migration or something like a replication account okay migration account migration account so when i see the salaries accounts are debited here the same salaries account has to be debited here so what i'm going to do here salaries account debit to so here i'm going to do the manual for salaries account debit to my migration account credit my migration account credit so because i want to transfer the balances actually so what is the purpose of this migration account the migration account is called as a intermediate account it is going to be called as a suspense account for me it is going to be called as a suspense account so why you are going to be using this migration account to transfer the balances actually so whenever you are doing any kind of manual postings whenever you are doing any kind of manual posting so i will use this migration account in the same way in the same way whenever you are taking any reconciliation balances whenever you are taking any reconciliation balances before you start replicating the actual fico transaction from the source system to the target system i need to have all the balances in my source system to the target system because of this so what i'm going to do to upload these balances in my sap s4 n system so there will be a migration account that will be get automatically get credited with this particular reconciliation balances actually so for that purpose i am going to be selecting but after you load all the data after you load all the reconciliation accounts after you load all the reconciliation balances then the second point number 2 you are doing the real time replicating of the data from the source system to the target system in that scenario in that case the reconciliation accounts will not be get transferred from the source system why because in sap s4 hana we don't have this reconciliation process we don't have this reconciliation process so there is the automatic triggering is there to this particular migration account so that is what exactly this is only for the initial upload of the balances i am going to be using this reconciliation accounts yes or no Mahesh is going to be on the ECC side, the source system side. Exactly, I'm talking only from the ECC side actually. Is there an example out there somewhere? A, a I think so. In the next class, I'll take one example actually. In the next class, I'll take with one example. I'll give with one example of this migration account where we are maintaining this migration account in the source system. What is the purpose of this migration account, and what is the need of this particular general reconciliation account? Definitely, I'll take one example. Yeah, because I think it would be very important, very helpful that if you put an example, not no, don't worry, reconciliation. don't worry, don't worry. I'm going yeah, to take yeah. you with an example. Okay, so anyhow, you are going to get the access to the system by Monday onwards. So before getting the access, so I'll give some information on this particular reconciliation process. Hey Mahesh, this is Amir. Yes, sir. Uh, good question. Uh, is there material or anybody that uh, you have shared material like uh, SAP documentation or something that? That, that we are can... going to yes, sir. Already I have got all the materials. So just by just give me one or one one day time for us. Okay, so I am going to share because the Zarantek already is going to share the material. Already we have got all the materials actually. So just okay. they are maintaining. Okay, just sure. they are be updating the updating all the materials in the blog. So by by within one or two days you will get all the materials. So um, hey, let, 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 Mahesh, let me ask you this: the the book is S zero four, I think that is Center Finance. So that is only for the certification purpose. S S four F zero four is the book of the material you are only using for the certification point of view. In that, they are not going to cover all this kind of SLT process and everything. It is only cover only the Center Finance process. So that book you are only referring for the certification, but. now whatever the books we are going to be whatever the material we are i am going to be providing to you that will contain all types of information about the source system slt i af and at the time of center finance process because i would just like to get an example and take the system if we have a system access no i I'll, i'll upload don't worry sir i'll upload all the balance so i'll uh, so i'll ask janantek to give all the materials to you so today i will have a discussion with the management i'll make sure that by by mind of the by monday we'll get all the meetings yeah because i learn better when i have a case study 
and okay. I struggled with it. You know, I have a case study, I have an example, and that's how I pass certificate exams. <laughs> I take an example, I go into the system, and I learn, okay? I yeah, can yeah, read all I, the theory I want. That's what I like. If you can do that, that would be the real, real help to all of us. Correct, correct, correct. I'll, I'll definitely, sir. Definitely, definitely. I'll ask the, I'll ask the Zerantec to upload the material as soon as possible. And in one more, and joke here, all these five guys that we have got in the class six guys, we can write a book and make some money offline. No? And sell that, book. <laughs> that is the exception part. <laughs> that, 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 and I'm going to interfere in that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, we'll take on Monday, sir. Okay? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, all of you. Yeah. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our Vimeo page and follow for more upcoming videos.